hi everyone welcome to my channel so today's video is gonna be just a tiny bit different because almost nothing i think actually nothing in this video is sped up it is a really short video because the nails i did were really short and um yeah so let's get started with the nail prep i just pushed my cuticles back with this little plastic cuticle pusher <laughs> Um, by the way, I bought these on Temu. They're so, they're chef's kiss. Like, I love them because I can give them to my clients and they can reuse it all they want. And obviously, I won't reuse it on them. The packet comes with 50 of them. So, it's not like I have 50 clients a day. <laughs> well, they run up quickly. I actually have quite a lot of them still. But, um, I did purchase another bag, which is the multicolored one because I had ordered the blue one first. And now I have a lot of them. I have like probably around 80 left. <laughs> and um, yeah, I do give them to them mostly f because it has, I like the little end, the, that part that is showing right now, um, where it has just a point so that they can actually pick underneath their nails because sometimes, you know, food gets stuck under there or they just have something underneath their nails and they feel awkward. It's just like they can't pick at it with this. They can't obviously being careful. But anyways. After pushing my cuticle, I went in with um, my cuticle bit so that I can clean up my nail plate and everything. And right here, you're going to see me use the sanding bit because I forgot that I had to do my cuticle first. And um, yeah, so right here is where I start with my cuticle cleaning. And um, I was trying out these new cleaning bits because I got a whole box of them on Temu as well and I just want to see how well they work and everything and they, they did a pretty good job um I feel like Amazon's ones are still better not that they are bad at the job it's just that it doesn't feel as good as the Amazon one like it would get the job done if you're looking for something easy and cheap um but it does feel like after you use it the first time or the second time it kind of just loses the grit it has and I don't know if it's clogged or anything but I cleaned them pretty good I mean I put it in alcohol with acetone and then I rub it with my brush so that I can get everything from the little pores or whatever and then I also sanitize them and I've never had an issue with the Amazon one obviously after a while it does need to be replaced like after a couple months but after cleaning them they always felt like new and these for some reason it just wouldn't have the same grit no more. After cutting the cuticle off and the dead skin, I went in with my sanding band. I think it's a 240 grit. And I just took off the shine and all of the oils off of the nail plate so that it'll be ready for prep. And right here, I just cleaned off the rest of the dust. And I've decided to try and get better at form and sculpting the nail from thorough. So this is what we're going to do in this video, which is also the reason why it's very short. Because I <laughs> did not 
<laughs> like the process of sculpting i feel like i need to show you guys a deeper video of me sculpting the nail but i, I want to get better at it still i do show you a whole finger but i don't show you the whole hand because it was so time consuming and i wanted you guys to actually see me work on the nail like from beginning to end and see how i liked it or if i didn't like it and all of that and i want to show you the process of me fixing the form to my nail now that i'm thinking about it i should be adding all five fingers in the video and make just or make just a video of me fitting the form and practicing sculpting the nail and maybe like that you guys can help me out or we can figure out what i'll be doing wrong because sometimes i feel like they don't come out as good as i want them to they they come out too bulky and i spend so much time filing i know it also depends on practice but i hardly practice so after putting the form i'm going in with my dehydrator and my primer i'm going with the gelish ph bond and then the young nails primer which are my two favorite combination um they make my nails last not only mine but my clients nails last up to three weeks four weeks maybe sometimes they'll be coming in for a fill and they have all of the nails really beautiful minimal lifting and then there's also some who come with like already falling nails or whatever after the three weeks i mean it's understandable we work hard we do things every day with our hands and sometimes it just depends on the person because what works for one person may not work for another And I started with the first bead, very small. I was scared. I didn't know how to work from it. Like I want, I know I wanted them short because of work, but I didn't know how short to make them. And when I did it the first time, I made them too short. And you're gonna see me later add the form again and sculpt a little bit more of it because I did not like how short it was. You could barely tell I had nails on. But I also didn't want them that long. I think this is the bead where I messed up because I made it too bulky and I didn't actually feather it down as much as I should have. I just left it there and took my time on it, which some acrylic 
dries really quick. I feel like this was my problem with this one because although you can see it gets better, I had to put a lot of pressure to wipe it down so that, not wipe it down, but pat it down so that it won't stay there dried, but it still became way too bulky. And I just, that's when I didn't like it. So this is what I mean that I took up the form and you could hardly see there was a nail there. It was too short and too fat and I just wanted more of it. So I just put the form back on and did another two beads I think. I forgot to keep in mind that when you're doing short nails you don't need them to be too thick they don't need such a hard apex because they're short but you also don't want to make them so thin that they'll just break immediately These are all five nails done. You can see how you could tell they're so nail, but it's not super long. And I still gotta file it down, so they're gonna become a little bit shorter. That's why I wanted the thumb to have a little bit more nail, so that when I file it down, there'll be something left.
and this is after they're all filed and I don't think I popped them there actually but they're all filed and they look decent <laughs> they're, they are the length I wanted them but like after a while they look just a little bit too small I still like them I really really did like the length of these because I was able to work with them and they feel very normal as if they were my own nail and I really liked it um the design was very simple I ended up just adding baby flowers on it or those um pre-made flowers the plastic ones So I just added top coat and some rhinestone gels and I added those flowers and this is how they turned out. Again, I really like them. They look very elegant and small and cute. <laughs> Alright you guys, and this is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it and give it a like, subscribe, and I hope I post another video soon. <laughs> Bye guys.